Okay, so I forgot to record the volume for this. So just imagine the all the little babies, they're running, they're running, they're holding their little fire crackers. They're gonna go through the neutral. Donna, Donna, Donna. They're going down. They're trying to fight it off. No, no. Horizon babies, they got more health. No chance, no chance. They're going down. They're going down. And I'm, I'm like an idiot in one second. Watch, I'm gonna get killed. They're gonna go down. They're gonna enemy core. Fire. And I win. Crazy horizons. Um, I'm gonna show you how to coal bomb. Although you can't coal bomb anymore. You gotta use pyrite or blast compound. But here it is. Uh, it's a really short code and I love it and I've used it a lot to end games really quick. Um, so here it is. Um, so I have a processor and it's so cheap, so cheap. There's a processor. Um, I have these two little message blocks just to remind me what switch goes to what. And then I have my little tagline so there's an extra space. So the processor is attached to both switches and the container. So let's go through this code, and I'm gonna go through it just like the computer would. Um, so the first one is, I call it quality of life. It makes it easier, so if I want to, if I'm playing in the game and I want to not use flares anymore, I wanna use horizons, and <sighs> use horizons, uh, it's so much easier. Uh, everyone uses flares to like fill things and to like perform tasks, and when you take it away from them, they get pissed so pissed so just use horizons let's share oh well, for the example i'm using flare but use horizons they have better health and people don't get pissed when you take them away all right um so i use these quality of life things up top it's so if i'm in game i can just change it from flare to horizon to whatever unit i want uh, and then it refers back to it later in the code and then i always put these little notes in case anyone wants to change it or to remind myself so set above string to unit, so this is just like a message block, a message note. Uh, and then what? So what is um, what is the unit going to be picking up? It's going to be picking up pyrite. You can do pyrite or blast compound. Both are awesome because when the enemy kills them, then they <laughs> drop all their uh, uh, load and like it explodes. It's amazing. Anyway, um, so set above string to material pickup. And then you should only be using Pyrite or Blast Compound. Those are only two things that work that I know of. Uh, so next, the code is going to go to uh, button 1, uh, at enabled. So it's reading button 1. It's checking if it's on or off. Uh, sorry. Create a variable called button 1. See if it's on or off. And we're looking at the block called switch 1. So they're called switches. I refer to them as buttons in the code. I don't know why. It just makes it easier. And then create a variable called button2, um, check if it's enabled, and we're looking for if it's enabled in switch2. So right now both things are off, so if button1 is on, jump, it's not. If button2 is on, jump, it's not. So it would just end and it would just keep repeating, um, setting the unit type, the material type, and identifying those sensors and seeing if they're on. So let's turn one of them on. We're going to turn flare pickup, which is switch one. We can see all of a sudden all the babies got a job to do. All right. Where is right there? So button one is on, so it's going to repeat the same code again and again. But this time, because button one is on, it's going to jump to this part of the code, which is unit bind who. So we've set that variable up above. So in this case, it's going to be flares. I want to identify the X and Y coordinate of the container. And then I read that out as two new variables called X and Y. Tell the unit to move to that location, which is exactly on top of the container. And then unit control, take this item from container one, 
and then what item is it going to take? It's going to refer back to all the way to the beginning what we set the variable to. So I just called what. Uh, and then how much? Um, you can't set it more than the unit's capacity, so it's only going to be 20. And then end. And because we're not flagging, because we're not um, pulling just one unit, this is going to keep repeating until it grabs every single unit that's on the field. So you can see how that would be kind of annoying for people that use flares for like um, filling tasks. Horizons are really the best bet. They just take a little bit longer to get them out. Anyway, so keep repeating, keep repeating, keep repeating. So right now, it is actually not controlling all these at the same time. It's controlling one, going to the next one, controlling that one, next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. All right. Um, so fun safety measure, I guess. If I were to put this second switch on, it's not going to do anything. Um, and I kind of like that because uh, when the code goes down, if button one is on, it's going to ignore button two because it jumps over it. So if I were to two, put button two on, so let's put button two on, see what happens. Without button one, all the babies start attacking. And you can't really see the fire or anything going on because there's uh, too many men projectors, but it, it explodes, like in glory. All right, so I'm gonna keep that on and let's go through the second part of the code. So if button one is off, then it checks for button two. Button two is on. And then it jumps down to line, what line is this? This is line 16. So again, it repeats the same type of step. Uh, bind a unit, and then it refers back to the top for what unit type, in this case a flare. Uh, unit locate, it want to locate a building. Core, make sure it's the enemy, so that has to be true. And then I want to create two variables called out x and out y. And then I don't really know what found does. Someone in the comments can tell me. I've never kind of figured that out. And then building, just say building. I think these are the defaults. So for every unit that it binds, it's going to approach out x, out y, the enemy core with a radius of 1. It's going to target uh, that location, that building, out x, out y and then shoot. It's only going to start shooting once it becomes in range. Um, yeah, that's it. Super, super simple. Uh, the only thing I noticed with, if you guys saw in the beginning with the map, um, if the unit has to go through like a bunch of like defenses that are like neutral, um, you have to make sure that you place your container in a place where it can kind of go in between. I've gotten kind of good at it because I've used this so many times, but that's it. Oh, remember, if you use this code, totally fine. I love that. You got to put a little signature at the bottom. Look, I'll show you my signature. You have a little signature at the bottom saying something like, I love Bunny Builder. Come on, I need the warmth. I need to see this out in the world, especially if you're on Atner. I'm on Atner all the time. Um, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any comments, put it in the comments. Yeah. All right.